It was a busy day of baseball at Rivet Stadium with the Byron Tigers looking to punch a ticket to Peoria with a win in the Super Sectionals. Tigers have been a great playoff story and they look to keep it going against DePaul College Prep this afternoon. But the Rams, they came out hot. In the bottom of the first, they put up four runs. A lot of bloop singles out to center field. The plate runs across today. Byron with a quick response in the top of the second though. Caden Considine powers that grounder past the first baseman to drive in a run. Braden Smith, what a playoff stretch he's had. The future Maryville pitcher showing he can do damage with his bat too. Just a rope out to left to score two runs. But Paul College Prep able to do a lot of damage with their bats in this one. They put up a lot of runs. They go on to win it 13-3 to put a close on a great Tiger season. I think just the fact that they all accepted their roles. Um, they all work to get better every single day. And they had fun. You know, they had fun. They, they you know, we, most of our practices, when a guy showed up late, he was like 15 minutes early to practice. And, you know, that's when you know you got something going good is when guys want to be a part of it and they want to be there, and, and those seniors led us that way. Congrats to the Tigers on a great season and a really fun playoff run. In the 1A Super Sectional, Newman Central Catholic facing Chicago Hope for the first game of the day. Brendan Tunick was on the hill for the Comets, and the starter notches a strikeout to get out of a jam and keep their deficit at 1-0. In the top of the fourth, Comets still down one, but Joe Oswalt able to get the bunt down, and there's an error on the play past the first baseman. That'll score a run. Wake up a lively Newman Central crowd in the same frame. The go-ahead run is on third, and Isaiah Williams gets the job done, hitting a sack fly out to left. That puts his squad up 2-1. to one. They're still not done. The nine hitter, Daniel Kelly, puts a charge into that ball out to deep left center. A three run fourth inning proves to be the difference and Newman Central Catholic wins it three to two. And over in the 1A softball playoffs in the super sectional, the Orangeville Broncos saw their great season come to a close. Broncos fell to the Bruins six to one in their super sectional out in Sterling. Congrats to Orangeville on another great softball season and their lone senior, Leah Baker.